Everybody, Andrew Ains of Golf Academy once again. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. I posted a video yesterday on the new G400 Max, so if you haven't seen that, um, check it out. I'll post a link down below or up above or somewhere so you can go and have a look at that. Um, fascinating driver. Remember, this is the addition to the Ping range. It's not replacement to the G400. It's one that just fits into the range, so I must stress that. But when I did that first initial test, I was doing it with a regular stock shaft. I had it at 10 and a half degrees and I was getting my club speeds um, around about 90 to 95 miles an hour so that you guys and girls could uh, appreciate what it might do if you're swinging it at that speed. Today, I'm gonna ramp things up a little bit. I've set the loft down to nine and a half. And the reason I've done that is Remember that the center of gravity on this driver has been pulled low and back, so it does tend to launch the ball quite high. And even myself, who am a low ball hitter, finding that 10 and a half was launching it pretty high with quite a lot of backspin. So I've knocked it down to nine and a half. I've put a Tour 65 stiff shaft in here, which in the UK is a non-upchargeable shaft. It's, um, it's a stock shaft. I think in the States uh, and other parts of the world, you might have to pay extra for this. There might be an upcharge, but in the UK, um, this is a fantastic performing shaft and it's the same price as the normal shaft. So it's a Tour 65 in stiff, cut to 45 and a quarter inches, so half an inch shorter than the, the Alta CB shaft. Um, so let's get over in the hitting area and hit some balls and, and see what happens, shall we? Let's go. Okay, time to hit some golf balls in a set with my G400 Max fitted with the Tour Stiff Chef. Before I do that, I want to warm up properly. Um, I don't know if any of you have come across these. They're called swing fans and um, there are various ones that are available on the internet. But I've been using one of these for years to warm up with and produce sort of a little bit more club speed as a bit of a workout. And as you can see, this thing works very much on resistance. So the fans here give me some resistance and it's a fantastic way to warm up. If you're looking to improve your club speed or just to look for a great warm up exercise, check one of those out. Right, I feel pretty loosened up-ish for a man of my uh, mature age. Let's go, um, let's go straight in and see what we've got. Where am I? I'm on the first hole at the Brabazon course, the Belfry over here in the UK. It does play slightly downhill Okay, so factor in a little bit more uh, yardage, not a lot more, but a bit more. We've got bunkers um, up the left and up the right, which will snaffle anything which is a little bit offline. So I've got premium balls on the deck. They're a mixture of uh, Mizuno and Titleist golf balls. So let's get in there and see what the max can do, shall we? Okay, so absolutely ripped that first one. That, <laughs> that's a beauty. If only my drives off the first were as good as this every time I played. Wow, that's out there. Let's get you some data, shall we? Let's get loving the shape of that. I'll put some details up here so you can see this, because it's not always crystal clear on here, but um, 101, 102 miles an hour club speed, uh, ball speed, just under 150. Carry distance predicted is 264. Remember it does play a fraction downhill. Uh, run out at 293, two yards offline. Peak height 27 yards. Side spin, pretty much nothing. Total spin, back spin, 1890 from a 12.4 degree launch angle. Um, I'm very tempted to stop there because I uh, don't think I'm gonna hit a better one than that, but uh, Let's go ahead and hit some more shots. The next video I'm gonna do is a head-to-head -head between this driver, the G400 Max, and the standard head in the same setup. But let's, uh, let's focus on another one, shall we? Could go a little bit to the right, that one. Um, bunker, I think. One bouncing in. Um, Club got a little bit trapped behind me. Left the face a fraction open. Still carried 257. Strike was solid enough, but uh, as you can see, just picked up the right hand trap there. Let's go again. Told you I should have stopped after the first one. 
that felt pretty good. Should carry that bunker quite easily. Big carry up the first cut. That's pretty playable. Again, 255 carry. Let's just pull up the data on that one. Missed fairway, but only just 100 miles an hour club speed, 255 carry, 2,100 spin from again, 12.3 degree launch. I'm loving this driver. Uh, the thing is though, um, with the G400 Max head, remember what they've done. They've, they've worked on this MOI, this moment of inertia. For those of you who are not too sure on what moment of inertia is, it's one of these things which is banded around. It's basically how the club resists twisting. So if you hit a little bit out the toe, or a little bit out the heel, high MOI drivers keep the face very stable so that it stops the club opening or closing. Um, so what Ping was saying about this driver, the Max, is that it's the most forgiving driver. Um, I'm pretty sure when I do the head-to-head, -head, between the standard 400 and the max, we'll see some pretty similar numbers, um, but it is just a forgiveness element of it. Um, I shouldn't do this, but I'm really gonna lean on this one. Could go anywhere, I'm gonna push it. Chiropractors on speed dial here. Let's see what happens if we really try and crank one up a little bit. Oh, my word. Oh, bit of pain there for you folks, but did get hold of it. Will it go 300? Oh, not quite. That was a lot of effort there. Um, club speed, funny, all that effort, and it only, only went up three miles an hour, but it was a good strike. Great launch conditions here. Um, 103, 104. Remember GC2, which I use here, without the head measurement technology, which is the one which gives us all this information, which I don't have unless Foresight Golf would like to send me one to test free of charge for four or five years, then that would be great. It does underdo club speed a little bit. And when I've been on the new quad or the HMT, my true club speed is probably close to sort of 107 at times. So interesting, but look at this carry distance. 267 carry, 1985 total spin, uh, just under 12 degree launch angle. That's impressive. Uh, now, a lot of this is to do with the shaft. The shaft is having a big effect on the numbers as well, but it is a great head, folks. Um, I'm very impressed, and I can't wait to do a head-to-head -head, uh, with the standard G400 and, and see what the numbers are. But that last one, that's about as good as I'm going to hit it. Yeah, fantastic. So, hope you enjoyed that little test. G400 Max fitted with the Tour 65 shaft. Remember, if you're interested in buying one of these drivers, please, please, please go and get a fitting, go and try the different heads because you'll find there's four heads now and one will suit you better than the other. And don't be afraid, afraid even to try some different shaft combinations and loft. I've got that down at nine and a half, which would normally be a bit low for me, but because it's high launching driver, it's doing the business, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Quick advertisement break as usual. Please subscribe down there. Click that button in that corner if you haven't done so already. Give us a like on the video if you think it's worth it and together we can grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back soon with some more G400 Max uh, videos for you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.